Welcome to another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how you can connect your older camera with the CHDK Canon Hacker Development Kit to extend its functionality. I found something called the CHDK, which stands for Canon Hacker Development Kit, uh, which is basically a tool that you can put on top of your SD card and then run whenever you boot your camera. It's not directly on top of, like it's not directly in the firmware of the, your camera, it's separate and one's on top, um, but you should still be careful of using it. The worst thing that can happen is that you have to put your camera to the Canon repair. Um, other than that, it should be fine. But just note it's experimental and it was developed about several years ago. There are forums and everything is quite active, so you can also ask questions there. But it was developed a few years ago. Now I'm using it in combination with the EOS card, which is a little UI interface that you can use together with on your Windows. Um, so note that this tutorial is specifically for Windows users. If you're not a Windows user or you don't have a Windows machine lying around, as probably many people who use a MacBook, um, then um, check out the links below. There are several tools that you could try out instead. Now I took the first time several hours because I had no clue what I was doing just to get this up and running. Um, so just try it out. If it works, it works. If not, there's not much that could go wrong, I think. Okay. So when you turn on your camera, you might have some overlays going on here on the display. Um, and you can get rid of them by hitting info. So you, you can get rid of those overlays. And then if you stream or if you uh, record yourself um, by connecting it directly to your PC or similar, um, it will turn off, the, the, the recording will turn off as soon as the display turns off. And um, yet I haven't found a workaround for that. Now you could potentially hit record and then the camera will think it's busy. Well, it is busy and don't turn off the display. But then you all again have that overlay going on, which you don't want. So for our workaround, let's prepare our SD card for that. You have to go to the menu button here and then you hit format and anything that's on your SD card will be erased. So you want to make sure there's nothing, no pictures or anything else valuable that you want to keep. Hit OK, and then there's nothing going to be, there should be nothing on the SD card. Anyway, so let's see what's on the SD card by taking it out and putting it into our SD card reader. And when you take it out, right now, this one just has a locked feature. So you can here, you can lock it and unlock it. Right now it's unlocked and we will keep it that way and put it in our SD card reader. Okay, so once you insert your SD card into the SD card reader, it should appear in your folder. It should be completely empty. There shouldn't be anything on it. So let's go ahead and download the files that we need. Here again, you can see I will link this down below uh, on how to prepare your SD card. Um, and then you have different options, either load CHDK directly from the firmware, which I'm not going to do, or from the SD card, if it's in a locked state, it's going to just automatically open it once you open your camera. Um, so we go to the download section. It describes your download here and how you can download it. So there are different ways. There's a German version. The German version is pretty nice to use because you can directly select your camera model. We're going to go to the English version so everybody understands what we're doing. <laughs> uh, and you download the one for your model. So in my case, I'm going to look for M3. Um, I'm going to download this one. This is the firmware version that I have. I don't have this one. I have that one. So I'm going to download this file. You hit save and you go OK. And then the second thing we need is here the Pelican. So we need this, this software, this here, however it may look. <laughs> um, so you hit download. I already downloaded it. And here you just have a bunch of different firmware files. So in our case, here's, for example, our 1.2.0. 
um, that is compatible with the CH CD CHDK um, file that we downloaded. So you download this one and then you go to your uh, downloads. So here in your downloads, you select the file that we downloaded first, you copy everything, everything from this file, and you paste it into your SD card. Paste, okay? Paste everything into that. Now, once this is finished pasting everything, you can see here all our files, um, downloads, and you hit, you open the Pelican that we downloaded. So you have downloaded multiple times, but you download that one we just downloaded. You open that one that we just downloaded. <laughs> now you open that, you hit refresh, and it will show your SD card. And then you hit this one. And then you hit save. And then it will say rate successful. And then you close it. If it doesn't close, it will close once you restart your computer. And that's all you have to do. Now once this is all done, you go to your SD card and you safely eject it. <laughs> now you turn on your camera and then you will see the scary message. Just, just ignore it. You hit to the play button and you hit, in my case, the top button here and then it shows this. It shows like Alt something. You hit menu and then you go to video parameters clear canon overlays you want to set it on rec okay you go back and you go to chdk settings ocd settings and you want to make sure this is off on and now we turn it off okay there shouldn't be a dot now we go back and then the LCD off should be to always. And that ensures that the LCD doesn't turn off by its own and you can keep recording as long as the LCD screen is on. So make sure it's on always. When we go back, we hit menu, we hit the top button again here, and then we go back and it now doesn't show any overlays. So now you can, for example, record, Oh, whoop. If you record, it doesn't show any overlays. And you can go recording. And here it also doesn't show any overlays. We're recording. Chip. So I hope this tutorial was useful. If you have any comments, questions, etc., please comment those below. And if you want to show your enthusiasm about this tutorial and want to make sure others see it too, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Also, I have a weekly DevOps newsletter, so subscribe to that one, link below. And I really hope to see you next time. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.